All right, so now we're going to talk about distributed property. And you're going to be using this a lot. And I know that at first when I show you this, you're going to think, well, why in the world are we learning this? But trust me, okay, and I'll show you why later on. When I have something in parentheses, let's say I have 2 plus 3. And I have a number outside of parentheses. Let's say I put a 6 here. Anytime you see a number outside of parentheses with nothing between the number and one of the parentheses, okay, that means that you're, you've actually got an imaginary multiplication symbol between the number and the parentheses. So what this actually says is 6 times the sum of 2 plus 3. Okay, this says 6 times the sum of 2 plus 3. So if I wrote this out, this says 6 times the sum of 2 plus 3. Now, there's two ways of solving this. Okay, if you use order of operations, you can solve this by doing parentheses first. So 2 plus 3, which gives me 5 and then multiplying by 6, so 6 times, don't know why that happened, let's start this part over, you get 6 times 2 plus 3 is 5, and then this gives me 30. Another way of writing this, or solving this, sorry, is if I have 6 times 2 plus 3, is using the actual distributive property. Now what the distributive property says is, Whatever the number is outside of parentheses that you're multiplying by, remember this is only for multiplication, okay? If I have a number here that I'm multiplying by and then I have parentheses, I can take the number outside of the parentheses and distribute it. That's why it's called distributive property. I can distribute it to each of the terms inside of parentheses. Well, there's a two and a three. Well, what operation is a 6 doing? The 6 is multiplying, okay? So when I distribute the 6 to the 2 and to the 3, I would be multiplying the 6 by 2 and the 6 by 3. So if I wrote this out and expanded this, this now says 6 times 2 plus, because that plus sign's right here, okay? 6 plus 2, or 6 times 2, sorry, plus... 6 times 3. This is what happens after you do the distributive property. After you do the distributive property, you go from step 1 to step 2. You're thinking to yourselves, this is so many extra steps, why am I doing this? That's okay. Just understand the concept first, and we'll talk about why later. 6 times 2. 6 times 2 is 12, plus 6 times 3 is 18, and 12 plus 18 is 30. So you see that you got the same exact answer that you got earlier. Okay? Same thing. So you're doing it differently to get the same answer. So there's actually two ways of solving this original problem. This original problem can be solved using this method up here, where we use PEMDAS or order of operations, and then this method down here where we use the distributive property. So let's look at the distributive pro property a little bit more. Okay. Let's look at the distributive property a little bit more. Let's say I have one half times 18 minus 12. Okay. Same thing, this means one half times, there's an imaginary multiplication sign here, or an invisible one, I guess it's not imaginary, it's invisible because you don't see it. So one half times 18 minus 12. So if I use the distributive property, which is what we're gonna be doing, I'm gonna distribute this one half to the 18 and the one half to the 12. Well, half of 18 is what? Good, it's nine, and then half of 12, is 6, and what was separating the 18 and the 12? Subtraction sign. And 9 minus 6 is 3. Okay. 
so the answer to this using the distributed property was 3. So if I wrote this out for you guys in terms of what's happening with the distributed property, you're taking a number outside of parentheses, there's some number here, and you're multiplying it by an expression inside of parentheses that's separated either by an addition symbol or a subtraction symbol. This is what it's going to look like when you're going to use a distributor property. Remember again, there is an imaginary multiplication symbol here. Invisible. I keep saying imaginary. My apologies. So again, if I have, let's say, 4 times 5 plus 6, okay, the 4 is the number, the 5 is the first term, I chose to add, and then the 6 is the second term. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take the 4, you're going to multiply it by the 5, then you're going to add, because it's addition, 4 times 6. I'm going to plug those in. So 4 times 5, and then 4 times 6, because I'm distributing the 4 to everything inside of parentheses. Again, you're thinking, why would I just not add 5 and 6 and multiply by 4? Here's why, guys. Because if I change this so that I have... Let's do this one first, actually. If I change this so that I have 2 times x plus 1, okay, order of operations, what's x plus 1? Please don't say 1x, because it's not. If you tell me that x plus 1 is this, you're wrong. Why am I wrong? Because this says 1 times x, so this is not what x plus 1 is. You cannot add a variable to a non-variable. I cannot add a number to a variable. I can multiply a number in a variable, but I cannot add them. So this actually stays the same. But there's still this two times. So I'm going to distribute the 2 to the x and the 2 to the 1. And I'm actually going to get 2 times x plus 2 times 1. And 2 times x, I'm going to write it down here, is just 2x, okay? Because 2 times x is just 2x. I don't need to put the multiplication symbol there. And 2 times 1 is 2. So when I've got 2 times x plus 1, I need to use a distributive property to simplify this and get 2x plus 2. This would be my answer. I know it's not a single number or even a single term, but this is what happens, okay, in this specific situation. When are we going to use this? When we deal with linear equations, okay? And in algebra, you're going to deal with a lot of word problems where you're going to be using variables, okay? So this is going to be very helpful. You're going to need to know how to distribute, and we're going to use distribution in a way when we're doing order of operations as well and I'll show you about that or I'll show you that as well later on similar idea we might not distribute completely but I'll show you how that works okay if you have any questions regarding this video